In this video, I boat around a bunch of hippos at the very interesting and unique Lake Navasha. Lake Navasha has a ton of different birds and other wildlife. I'll talk about Crescent Island and let you know if you should include a stop at Naivasha on your Kenya safari. This is part of our True Safari series. In the previous video, I reviewed the very beautiful Sopa Resort. The people were super friendly, and we really liked seeing all the animals. Make sure to check out my review if you are thinking about coming to Navasha. We probably would have liked it even more, but Shannon and I both got very sick our first and only night here. Even our safari tour guide was a bit under the weather. The next morning was rough. Shannon was so sick she couldn't get out of bed. I could barely move, but there was no way I was coming all the way to Lake Navasha in Kenya just to get sick and leave. The main reason to visit Lake Navasha is to see all the pink flamingos and the large population of hippos that live here. It's like 15 hippos right there. It's also a birder's paradise with over 400 species of birds. I saw a lot of birds, but not a single pink flamingo. But that's okay. We saw a ton of them back in Ambicelli. Make sure to check out our Ambicelli videos if you like pink flamingos. Pretty neat. We don't have hippos back home. But for the young one, it's 40 seconds. Really? So all the baby hippo does sit on mama's back. Uh, they can still run 40 kilometers per hour. That is four times faster than the fastest human being. That's fast. 80% <laughs> of their lives is in water, but they don't swim. They don't swim. Uh, the captain told me that hippos can run very, very fast and that they are the most dangerous animal in Africa. I already knew that, but what I didn't know at the time is that hippos can't swim. They just run along the bottom. He also said a hippo can bite 10 times harder than a lion. I was surprised just how knowledgeable the captain was. He gave me a lot of facts about Lake Navasha. That bird's huge and knew a lot about the animals and birds we saw. Later, he tells me about a bird that actually eats rocks so it can swim down to the bottom of the lake. I really wanted to come here to boat around all the hippos. I thought I'd be in a bigger boat though, with like 20 other people. Not on a private tour in this tiny canoe with a motor. I was just really hoping we didn't have any boat issues because I certainly wasn't swimming back. It was nice to have a private tour though. Navasha comes from the Maasai word that translates to rough waters in English. It was named that from the sudden storms that pop up here. They dive as deep as 20 meters in order to get their fish. Oh really? Yeah. So in order for them to be heavy enough or dense enough to go that deep, they swallow small pieces of stones to increase their density. Really? Yeah, when they eat on their food, they vomit on the stones. Wow. Those two birds eat rocks so they can dive down 20 feet or meters to get fish and then they throw up the rocks. Naivasha is a huge flower growing region and a lot of that is due to Lake Naivasha. Lake Naivasha is considered the highest lake in the Rift Valley 
and supplies an abundance of fresh water for flower cultivation. That is so cool. So the boat ride is only part of the tour here at Lake Navasha. Those animals there are on Crescent Island. I didn't sign up for it, but you can do a walking tour on the island where you can get really close to zebras, giraffes, and other animals. However, the reviews on the internet were fairly mixed. A lot of people seem to enjoy the boat ride, but not the walk on the island. They said the island was more like being at a zoo than on a safari, and many people thought it was overpriced. The zoo part makes sense because the animals on the island were actually brought here for the filming of the 1985 movie Out of Africa with Robert Redford and Meryl Streep. The movie was nominated for 11 Oscars and won seven. Oh man, they move fast. Ironically, for some of the scenes, trained lions were imported from California. Those hippos are awesome. They started galloping, they don't swim. I saw them running underwater, that was uh, glad they weren't running our direction. He said these animals were brought here for the movie Out of Africa and they started multiplying. So now there's tours to the island and you can walk around and get really close to the animals. Jeez. So, uh, by bad luck, you break your horns, that means you'll never meet. Because your, your horns are your weapons. <laughs> wow. So, as much as you're competing to pass over your genes, <laughs> uh, make sure you don't break your horns. <laughs> <laughs> The males and the females graze on different uh, areas. So what the males do is that they challenge each other. Okay. So was the trip to Lake Navasha worth it? I really enjoyed boating around the hippos and seeing the fish eagle swoop down and grab a fish. I definitely do this tour if you're in the area. But I should emphasize, if you are in the area. The Sopa Resort was certainly nice enough, but I far more enjoyed the tents we stayed at in the Masai Mara. There we felt like we were actually on a safari, not at a luxury resort. But hey, if you're looking for some rest and relaxation, the Sopa Resort is a great place for that. So would I do it again? only if I didn't have to travel as far. I don't think it was quite interesting enough to make the special trip, especially for only one day. And one day here is plenty, unless you plan on spending relaxing time at the resort. Worst of all, because of the trip here, we ended up taking a dirt road all the way to the Masai Mara, and it was rough. And that was after we had been throwing up all night. If we had went straight from the Masai Mara from Ambicelli, at least it would have been paved for the most part. Alright, like, subscribe, and we have over a hundred videos on our channel, so pick an adventure and let's go do some stuff. <laughs>